my students in my earlier module i discuss about the origin development and one important component of purulia chhou dance that is mask now today in this module i'll start to discuss about costume of chhou the costume of chhou which is used today was introduced about a century back from the time when the royal family got associated with it the costumes are gorgeous and stylish the costume which were used before is still unknown to us due to lack of evidence from the view point of designing the costume of purulia chhou we found four distinct divisions one is costume of the upper part of the body second is costumes for the lower part of the body then third one is headgears and four costumes of the acting birds and animal characters the upper garments of the chhou characters are ornately decorated artist wear short embroidered jackets as the lower garment they wear only a tight trouser on this trouser are tied many striped colors multicolors ribbons the stripes of the ribbons followed mix pattern according to the character the stripes of gods and heroes are green and yellow for the demon it is black and red now a day the tight stripe trouser seems to be out of trend in some place it is being replaced by the dhoti dhoti my students you know it is generally in our all over the india the male are wearing as our traditional dress that dhoti but with different colors and the different wearing styles are there so the divine character the divine character like ganesha and kartik are used tight trousers and now they also wear a dhoti which is a piece of cloth 5 meters in length this dhoti is brown white or yellow in color according to the character they portray a colorful ribbon hangs from it a waist band richly decorated with beads is worn over the dhoti and for the upper part of the body they were colorful t-shirt and over it a stitch embroidery jacket is own for the hands for flower of appreciated colors befitting the character are tied at equal distance from the shoulder to wrist in addition to this two colorful clothes are used as head kerchief these are about 2 feet long and are stitched to the upper garments as hanging down from the shoulder of ganesh the same is white color for kartik there are some speciality in the costume used for the character of shiva the costume is absolutely exclusive and is not 
owned by any other character. Sheep wears a pair of yellow colored trousers which resemble the color of the skin of the tiger. A yellow cloth belt is tied on it for the upper part of the body. T-shirt of the same body complexion is worn with the arm stitched with cobra hood design and bauti. Bauti is one type of ornament worn around the arms. A yellow colored shawl hangs from the neck. The character of Brahma has an important role in Purulia Chow. For him, the upper part of the body is covered with a red color long sleeve jacket similar to kurta and embroidered yellow jacket is worn over it. A richly ornamented shawl is also a part of his costume. Two artificial hands made of light wood are tied in the back of the actor. For the lower part of the body, a white dhoti with several red stripes is on. A komarpati or the wrist belt made by cloth and decorated with beads is also used for the costume of Brahma. In addition to the above characters, the Nondi and Viringi, two characters belonging to the Chou tradition of Purulia can be cited as very admired. They are reckoned as the comic character and also considered to be the guards of Shiva's about a Koilas. The upper garments of this character consist of a full sleeve yellow and blue shirt or kurta called benian. Yellow ribbon of about 3 or 4 feet long is worn around the neck and placed in front crossing each other. No embroidered jacket is used for this character. The arms are decorated with bauti or bangles. Two yellow handkerchief hang down from the shoulders and are tied with the upper garment. A dhoti is worn as the dress for the lower parts with waist belt. Sometimes the waist belt are done away with him. Narada. Narada is a comic character in Purulia Chow. The upper garment for this character is long sleeve saffron colored kurta or shirt and a rosaria worn round the neck. The lower part of the body is covered with a yellow colored dhuti with an orange color belt instead of bauti. They paint their hands and hold two yolo handkerchiefs, sagas and rishis generally do not use any clothes to cover the upper part of the body whenever needed they cover the body with a shawl. They use dhoti as the lower garment which is white or sometimes saffron in color. The female deities generally wear a sari similar to that owned by Bengali women. For the character of goddess Kali, a pair of striped trousers made of black cloth is used. Goddess Durga wears a red sari and a full sleeve jacket called blouse, which is richly adorned with golden thread. A golden colored ornated belt is worn round the waist. Sometimes a sleepless jacket ornamented with beads 
is worn over the long sleeve red jacket for goddess durga eight artificial hands made of wood are used they are fixed to the back of the actress for the character of lokki and saraswati sari and full sleeve blouse or decorated jackets are used the only difference being the basic color used in sari and jacket the demon character like jokso and rakshas are very popular character of purulia chhau performance mohishasuro or buffalo demon is a character taken to be a very powerful one in the episode mohishasur mordini he dances with the goddess durga this item is included in the repertory of every porulia chhau dance company the upper garment of for this character consist of an embroidered jacket called bokta and colorful shawl name pithi chada two white handkerchiefs about 2 feet long are attached in front of the jacket and hung bauties or bangles befitting the costume are worn round the arm for the lower part yellow or white color dhoti with a waist band is used mahishasur is a solo character but sometime this character comes in a group in which case they wear costume of different colors for the character raktasur the artist uses a white shirt with white embroidered jacket worn over it as the upper garment the back is covered by a beautiful shawl and a dhoti provides the dress for the lower part a colorful waist band is worn and a few bauties or bangles are used in the arm which is colorful chhau artist also play the roles of animals and birds they cover themselves with a cloth having a colorful color close to the color of the animal they use artificial limbs to act as animal and bird for acting in the role of the animals like the elephant tiger lion bull and bear often two artists are used one artist keeps standing while the other one who is the behind him stoops forward and holds on to his waist to bring out the basic form of the animal in some sequence solo actor manages the role like when goddess durga appears she comes with her lion as her vehicle her here the mask of lion is used and only one artist enact lion very skillfully students now i like to discuss you about the technique of chhau dance of purulia the basic posture of chhau dance is a half seated position with knees widely open at right angle to the spine the upper portion of body should be vertical the whole attitude reflects a pure tandava or masculine style artist exhibit movements according to the character the actor is enacting the movements are also chosen according to the mood of the performance the chhau performance of purulia are very much dependent on the goti or gates of the character on the stage there are generally divided into two categories one is the straight away imitation of the movements of animal and birds 
thereby trying to produce a realistic image. The other one is the stylistic for which has developed with the age old tradition. The stylistic movement are again selected according to the character that is being depicted. Another notable factor is communicating the sentiment or bhava of the character to the spectators. For these movements or goti of divine and demonic characters of show dance has developed. The movement are taken from the behavioral pattern of the character which the performer imitates. These are often movements of animal and bird. Other movements are stylized, ones which have developed from their age old practice of tradition. This movement differ from character to character according to its development in the story. According to the Salvini, one renowned scholar, these are different sorts of guti and locomotion generally used in Purulia Chow. Work of hero, work or demon, sight way work, crawling locomotion, work on the knees, heavy locomotion, divine locomotion, ripping locomotion, rocking locomotion, work or pulling locomotion, work of a monkey, work of a tortoise, etc. God, goddesses and mythological animals have their own goti which are completed by a series of attitudes. Work of Ganesha, work of Durga, work of Shiva, work of Parasuram, work of an animals and work of healthy man also is different kind and different type in show. My students, music is very important and the music of Purulia Cho is a great contribution in Indian theatrical music scenario. The music of Cho dance of Purulia is dominated by instrumental music. Only two lines of lyric are sung at the opening of the play. It is mainly the introduction of the play. These lines are repeated a number of times when drummers start beating the drums, it is an indication to the singer to stop the singing. After that, the instrumentalist continue with their music for the entire episode. In Purulia Cho, songs are sung in Bengali. The Purulia Cho musical instruments are played in a very high pitch. Concert often differ from one time to another time. The music party or the orchestra consists of two tribal drums known as dhamsa, two cylindrical drums known as dhol or dholok, one wind instrument known as sanhai and the harmonium. These are the minimum requirement for instruments for a cho orchestra. But a number of other instruments such as idiophones and sometimes the melody instruments like trumpets are used. The dholok player perform the main role. They conduct and control the music team. At first before the play begins, they just 
गो अराउंड द एरिना कीपिंग द ऑडियंस कैप्टिवेटेड सम टाइम दे कीप द स्पिरिट ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस ऑल्सो ए हाई मूड बाय जंपिंग टर्निंग साउटिंग आउट लाउड स्टिल एट द सेम टाइम द प्लेइंग देयर इंस्ट्रूमेंट अदर प्लेयर्स सीट ऑन द ग्राउंड एन एकम्पानी द प्लेयर्स ऑन स्टेज द धमसा दैट आर बिटन विथ ग्रेटेस्ट फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज ड्यूरिंग द परफॉर्मेंस आर इंडीड वॉट ड्रम्स ऑफ द पास्ट दिज आर बिटन ऑन बाई वन पर्सन इफ द साइज इज स्मॉल और एल्स If the size is bigger, it is beaten by two person simultaneously, with both their hands, with two thick wooden stick. The dhamsa is heavy in weight; it cannot be carried on the shoulder, so it is placed on the ground and beaten. The dhamsa covered by well seasoned. Animal skin, and is also properly tuned. The rhythm instrument's dhol is extremely necessary in show dance. It is smaller in size and can be slung from the shoulder. The dhol is played by the fingers of the left hand and by a stick in the right hand. Melodies are played on the sanai. tune is played in harmonium purulia chhou music can be classified as follows students number 1 is melody the melodies use are of folk songs are apparently there is a relationship between their words although not sung but and the subject of the particular dance the phases of each song are repeated over and over with only slight variation but lyrical beauty of the tune combined with the interplay of rhythm and dance sustain interest and there is in fact an accumulative effect which is tremendously and powerfully expressive then i'll discuss the rhythmic structure the dhol is played constantly during each musical selection there are two structure in the drum background the first is solo dhol here the players taps out relatively simple pattern which mark the beat and the subdivision of the beat each beat in a given musical selection is subdivided into pulses of either 3 or four there is apparently no larger grouping of beats or tal that is except in the last part of the section that is the drumming of beat oriented rather than tal oriented this is the uniqueness of music pattern in purulia cho dance music the pattern with which the dhol players marks time are basically simple and repetitive however several drummers vary vary they are playing with occasional combination of rhythm usually following some action in the dance several typical patterns are given 
now i can discuss with you pattern 1 which is cover 3 bit each bit subdivided into 2 or 4 pattern covers 1 bit subdivided into pulse of 3 pattern covers 2 bit subdivided into pulse of 2 by 4 a unique feature of the music of chou is seen in much longer patterns played on the dhamsa and also simultaneously on the dhol. This pattern varying in length from 4 bits to 36 bits or more are directly related to the dance steps, especially the group dance. During the time that the dhol is being played in a particular rhythm, the dancer moves slowly in pantomime or irregularly, apparently the improvising the movement, but beginning with the first beat of the dhamsa rhythmic patterns, the dancer begin an elaborate series of movements which end simultaneously with the last beat of the dhamsa pattern. The dhol player sounds out a signal to the rest of the troop several beats before the dhamsa pattern begins. The signal is in simple bowls. Now I will tell you the story enacted in Puruliya Chau. Number one and very important in the performance is Ganesh Bandana. Dance of Ganesh is an introductory item at the beginning of Chau performance of Puruliya. Every performance of Puruliya Chau dance must begin with a vocal evocation or to Ganesha. A dance of Ganesha is set on the background of Puranic themes. Then Kirat Arjuna. This episode of Mahabharata is most popular in Purulia Chow dance form. Bakasur Bad, the story of killing Bakasur or Demon Baka is also an important uh, episode in the Purulia Chow repertory. The fight between Bhima and Bakasur is the theme of this episode. Another story which is very popular in Purulia Chow that is Meghnad Bad. Killing Meghnad is also an important episode in Purulia Chow which is presented in Jhalda, Bagmundi and Bandwan area, Purulia district. This episode is adapted from Ramayana. Srita Haran, also a famous dramatic episode in Purulia Chow, the abduction of Sita by Ravana is the story enacted here. Quickly Ravana is another Chow item which is specially performed in Purulia tradition. Abhak Chakra, different incident of Krishna's childhood has been portrayed by the Chow artist of Purulia and Moirvanj. This item is very popular in both the place. Then Ras Leela, Ras dance is specially performed in Purulia and Moirvanj tradition. Ras Leela dance is associated with Radha Krishna legend. Mahishasura Mardini, the episode appears to be the most popular among the Purulia and Moirvan show. It has been based on the Markendo Puran or the legend of Goddess Durga. Sambhu and Nisimbo, the episode which is based on Markendo Puran is popular in Purulia and Moirvan's tradition. 
Sip Tandava. It is a famous solo dance item in Purulia and Moirvaj also. It is considered the greatest dance of Shiva. Taroka Asur Bodh, the story of killing Taroka Asur from the legend of Kartikeo of the Kumar Sambhava is famous in Purulia Chou performance. The physical movement of Purulia Chou dancer are characteristically masculine and extremely various the other integrated into choreographic structure. The movement of heroes and the demons are very slow with great dignity. At the entrance, the dancer pose in depth knee bonds. As soon as the hero takes his position, the enclosure, his opponent arrive and the conflict between hero and the opponent is resolved by a combat of gesture. The dance is vigorous and full of body movement, movements and indicate gesture language. Purulia Cho represent thus a very significant process of a cultural interactions and distinctiveness in Indian cultural pattern. The dance style belongs to a group of backward classes. There is a class structure within this on the basis of the functionality and vocation. The earlier antric forms of the worshipping continue. On this, there is an overlayering of the tradition of Indian literature. The Ramayan, the Mahabharata, and some of the Purans in time, they become part and parcel of the life of this community while not obligating earlier layers. In interconnections manifested most vocally through dance and music. Although earlier practices are observed, the thematic content largely rests on the tradition of the epic and the Purans. The treatment given to the character and the method of portraiture, however, shows very clear sign of earlier beliefs and faith and purely local concern. The village deities and their characteristics enter into the characters of Rama and Ravana, Durga and Lakhi, Abhimannu and Arjun. In terms of the formal elements, while the drama and the vocalist may be compared to the Sutradhar of Sanskrit tradition, there is little or no trace of the really regular structure of the Sanskrit drama. So, obvious and unmistakable in South, the South Indian forms. There is also no division of acting area into different zone and space, which in many other dance style was a takeover from the convention of Kaksa Vibhag of Sanskrit theatre. Here, the arena use is used freely and no attempt is made to identify different areas of the stage with different locales. There is also in Purulia Chou is very conspicuous absence of the character of Vidhusaka, who plays such an important role in the tradition of other dance drama like Kutiyattam, Jokshagana, 
भगवत मेला नेभर द लेस द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मार्गी इन द डांस भोकाबुलरी आर ऑबियस इन ऑल द थ्री फॉर्म्स ऑफ छो दस वाइल दिस फॉर्म्स आर सार्टनली देसी ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ देयर सोशियोलॉजिकल स्टेटस एंड लैक ऑफ पोइटिक वर्ड दे आर मार्गी ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द इलाबोरेट रिचुअल ए पौराणिक कंटेंट ए सिल डांस भोकाबुलरी एंड स्टाइलाइजेशन इन मास्क इज प्रेजेंट इज द ट्रेडिशनल डांस हेरिटेज ऑफ आवर इंडियन डांस सिनारियो